On Saturday afternoon after a mass shooting at a Buffalo supermarket, hours before the internet filled with tributes to the 10 people killed, and long before authorities could authenticate hate-filled documents posted online, another phenomenon was already emerging. Researchers in white supremacist extremism noted the man accused in the shooting was being given a rare title in dark corners of the internet. Memes were emerging depicting the shooter as the newest member of a kind of hateful pantheon, among a cadre of online admirers, these white supremacist mass killers aren't criminals. They're saints. Shooters who have caused the most death and destruction with a racial motive are celebrated with images and texts by legions of users who have created their own collection of saints. It's an online culture that is now so widespread that saint memes emerge almost immediately after. These images, shared on platforms as mainstream as Instagram, have their own rules. A shooter who kills one or two people is labeled a brother. The title of saint is reserved only for those who kill the most people, in the most debased way. Text with the USA Today newsroom about the day's biggest stories. Sign up for our subscriber-only texting experience. The subculture deeply concerns experts who study white supremacy and extremism, even as its warning signs remain difficult for law enforcement to act upon. With 10 people dead in Buffalo and an 18-year-old now charged, experts wonder how many teenagers are developing a deep, almost spiritual admiration for racist mass murderers, hoping to become the latest member of this hateful communion. Pretty much every extremist wants to be a saint, said Kesa W. Who's going to be the next person who's willing to be a martyr? Before Saturday's shooting, a community of extremely online extremists already revered as a saint the Australian man sentenced to life in prison for murdering 51 people at Friday prayers at two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, in two. They celebrate as a saint the neo-Nazi convicted of killing 77 people in Norway in the summer of 2011. And a subsection of the community worships the 22-year-old Californian man who murdered six people and injured 14 more, in 2014 before killing himself. Hate groups, hate groups declined in 2021. But fringe ideology is a powerful force shaping U.S. politics, SVLC warns defining extremism. What is extremism? Does it include far left, far right? Choosing a definition is fraught.